Wall Street careers are, have been built and broken trying to outsmart the market. Well, now it may be as simple as following Twitter. That's right. You did not hear me wrong. New research conducted by our next guest says tweets can predict the stock market days in advance. And joining us live from Bloomington, Indiana, is Johan Volen. He's an associate professor of informatics and computing at Indiana University. Thank you so much for joining us, Johan. Well, My you, um, you know, let's talk a little bit about Twitter, but we got to talk about Google first. Google created an index that basically profiles what are called, I guess, they're, they're they're describing as mood states. Is that correct? It's yes. It, I mean, a lot of uh, institutions are actually working on this particular topic and trying to analyze the uh, the flow of information online and trying to extract some kind of a signal uh, from that with regards to how the uh, the public is feeling. Okay. So one of the mood states they came up with by using Twitter is called calmness, and you found that there was a strong correlation between calmness. And what was going to happen with the Dow? That is correct. That's that's what we found. We uh, we studied about six different dimensions of mood. So people can be happy versus sad. They can be uh, they can be uh, calm like versus anxious. And one of those dimensions, calmness, seemed to have the strongest uh, forward correlation with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now you actually thought that it would be the Dow dictating the mood, but in fact, what you found out was mood was a leading indicator for what would happen in the Dow. Exactly. That was pretty surprising to us because you would think if the markets do well, people are happy. If the markets don't do well, they're, uh, they're sad. And so we were, we were um, expecting to see two, two types of correlations, one with happy-sad and where happy-sad was actually following the market. And what we found is that happy-sad does not actually correlate with the market. It's actually calm versus anxious. And calm versus anxious seems to predict the market three okay. or four days out. And let's take a look. We actually have a chart here to, to illustrate the point that you're making. It's got two different lines. One is for the Dow and one is indicating calmness with when the line is low, we have a big red circle around it, which I believe is September 18th. When that when calmness hits a low, you can see not long afterwards, the Dow actually starts to drop as well and vice versa. When calmness goes back up, we actually start to see the Dow climb there later on in September. Now, when you when you looked at that event, we're looking at a very short period of time. There weren't any other factors that might have been driving the Dow up or down around that time? Well, there were, I, I'm sure there were a lot of factors, and uh, we haven't studied all of them, but uh, we have actually looked at public, at public calmness and a vari variety of other public mood states, and the, you know, the correlations seem to be quite convincing. In fact, if you look at the, if you look at the graph, you can see that the, the correspondence between these two lines is pretty high, and uh, it's what we call statistically significant. It's actually very difficult to achieve that kind of correlation by chance alone over that particular period. Now, I'm not seeing the graph that you're showing, and it could be only a sliver of the original graph that we have, but this pattern persists over uh, more than a month, several months, in fact. Okay, so why Twitter? I mean, I can't imagine this index has been around very long. Did you factor in that you just don't have a, a ton of data available to you? Well, th that's part of it. A lot of this sort of new computational science, computational so social science, as some call it, uh, relies on these very large data set to study these very large scale social phenomena. And the reason why we worked with Twitter is because they do have very large scale, very real time information. Because you have to understand at this point, I think about 55 million tweets are submitted per day worldwide. And uh, the number of Twitter users seems to be in the 120 to 140 million range right now. So you've right. got a so tremendously you large the, scale. You have a lot of data in a very short period of time. So any traders right. reaching out to you to start to actually institute this as a trading uh, strategy, I guess? Well, yes, I, I've been receiving quite a bit of phone calls. And, uh, well, to be honest, I'm, I'm a scientist, so we're interested in the, in the science of this. But uh, it's undeniable that if, if this pattern holds up, if our results hold up over time, it's clear that this may give traders and people in, uh, interested in investing uh, a slight edge that may uh, reap considerable or significant benefits. All right. Johan, thank you very much. Johan Bolin, thank you very much. Indiana University Associate Professor of Informatics and Computing. Take care.